Let me get some uh, steak and I got a master's degree in porology. Oh my, oh man. Is gas really supposed to be this yellow? Looks like pit. I got it in my mouth. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, so the other day I was driving to McDonald's and the car just started sputtering and running like junk. Seems like it wasn't getting fuel. And so today I'm gonna be putting in a new fuel filter and doing some work on the running aspect of the car. It usually fires up first try, even after sitting. It's been sitting now for probably a week or a week and a half. All right, that was literally first crank. This car has like no gas in it, so I'm just gonna jump in it right now and oh, I'm just gonna jump in it and we're gonna go around the block and I'll show you a little bit of how the car is running and what's really wrong. Hopefully I can recreate the same scenario. Man, I love automatic windows. All right, so yeah, the car can drive. It does need gas, but that's part of the plan of me putting in a new fuel filter and everything like that. So hopefully I don't break down while going around the block. Okay. Check engine lights on, oil lights on. It's just oil level sensor. I might fix that soon enough. See, it's driving pretty good right now. My foot's to the floor actually, but so uh, it's driving halfway decent right now. But so when I went to McDonald's the other day, it just, I don't know. It's, it just started running like it wasn't getting fuel. It was just like falling on its face. I couldn't give it any gas. And I was like two miles away from home. So I didn't, I didn't really want to break down. So I just drove home and it's driving halfway decent right now. Something else is once it gets uh, a little bit of heat in it, like once it's at operating temperature, it drops down to one bar on the, the oil pressure gauge. And I know nothing about bars, but I know that I'd rather have three bars all the time than one bar some of the time. Dang, look at that thing. That thing's pretty nice. But so, yeah. See, now it's running like lots of garbage. Man, it's always good when you don't ramp off the thing. All right, so in quick look under the car before I take the filter off. It seems I had another video where I tried to fix the fuel leak in the car and you can still see there was actually a drip right here. It's wet. If it will focus over. Can you see that? just like leaked fuel. I swear there's a hole in the line. Yeah, see? Right there, it's like. That's not good. There's, you can see that, right? There's literally fuel coming out of that, that hole right there. I don't understand how there could ever be a hole in that. I guess I need a new fuel line, I don't know. Clearly there was fuel, yeah, you can see. That's ridiculous. There's not a lot of fuel in the tank, it's on empty. There's probably still a lot of fuel in the tank. You can see that, clear as day. There's a fuel right there. No, there isn't. No, there is. Okay. Oh. Good luck, me. This fuel filter has like writing on it, but it just looks really old and corroded.
It looks like piss. I got it in my mouth. <laughs> I mean, to be real, the gas doesn't look that bad, but I have nothing to, like, plug up this. So, I'm, I don't know. Is gas really supposed to be this yellow? And if gas is coming out this way, wouldn't the fil filter be on backwards? Because shouldn't it be facing that way? Yeah, there looks like it's a mix of something. There's like water or something in it. I still think this fuel filter is on backwards. Oh man. Oh my. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to save some of this gas, but I don't really think so. I'm not going to save any of it. I'm just going to go grab a pan and start filling it up. This is what it looks like, the gas. Man, I'm going to go wash my hands also. All right, so this is probably hecka dangerous, but I figure I'll just leave it right there and it'll just evaporate away because I, I I'm not doing anything with that. That's not going in my car. The whole problem is I don't have a shop, so this whole, everyone's like, oh, bad fuel, just drain it. Well, I drove around until the car was on empty, and this thing is still, I mean, I went inside and washed my hands and stuff. This stuff's coming out at a pretty good rate. Let's see if this helps. Nice. Oh, it's coming out slower and slower. It's almost empty. All right, so it seems to be done dripping. I got pretty tired of huffing gas. Clearly the flow of the fuel is going this way. So it just makes me think that this fuel filter is just on backwards. Or maybe it's not. This thing's pretty full of fuel. It doesn't seem to be flowing that well. Can you see that? See how it's just like, can you shake it? The flow just isn't right. See how it flows really good? And then flows bad? Flows good? Flows bad? This is the problem right here. And it does say flow go that way. So I'm gonna put it back on with flow going that way, even though I don't think it's the right direction. The flow on this thing is just so bad. There's still fuel in it and it won't leak out even though there's a hole on both ends, supposedly. Nothing will come out this end. Can you see that? Nothing will come out this end. Flip it, stuff comes out the other end. That's part of the problem right there. It was set up on the car, the fuel pump was right, right, right. The fuel pump was right here and the flow went this way. But it says the flow on the filter is that way which makes no sense. This looks to be original as well, because it's a, a German part and, or it's a Mercedes German part. Like no one's gonna re-put on a German Mercedes part. There was something written right there. Of course gas got all over everything. This is a, looks like K-N-E-G-H-T, Connect, whatever the heck. I really think this fuel filter needed to be that way but if a mercedes person worked on this and it says the flow is that way that way i'm just gonna have to put it back on the same way but this thing it just has no flow and then we check out this new filter it has the arrow going that way as well this is made in germany as well but this isn't a a genuine OEM part. But if you listen, the blow test. 
air blows through this one really well so there isn't much of a claw going on there and then we got this one flow is supposed to be going this way so i'm going to clean this end and do a test on this there's much more back pressure on this filter much more pressure like there's still fuel in here and i drained it out You need to get to like a certain pressure before it even flows fuel. So wow, yeah, this is definitely a problem. Yeah, this is some junk. This scares me, so I'm gonna probably put it in, I don't know. You know, the weed eater's just gonna have to be happy with Mercedes gas. Like I remember as a kid, not everyone had Mercedes gas. The weed eater should just be happy it has any gas. Oh, I, I just realized you guys can't see the shot. I'm really good at pouring. I went to college for it. I got a master's degree in pourology. I'm still paying back the loan on it though, but man, I had a lot of alcohol when I was doing uh, mixology in college. Man, that train's loud. But so I got a new fuel line. It looks to be bigger, but like it's really the only choice I had. And this is so corroded and friggin' worn. I know you saw the weep earlier. This is so messed up that it's gonna be better. So let me get some uh, steak and shake and uh, whip that thing back in. Oh man, so you guys aren't gonna believe this. I'm at the Mercedes dealership. I don't know if you can tell, but so dude just gave me this bit of line for free. I have a new line that is from Mercedes. It is a little frayed, but you know, I'll recut it. And off to Steak and Shake. All right, I just got the Steak and Shake bag secured. I need to get home before it gets uh, gets cold. But so this homeless dude just asked me for a cigarette. I'm about to make him, make him his day. No, 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 don't run away, dude. $20 Yo, man. Oh, okay, all right, thank you. Buy as many cigarettes as you want. Oh, okay, all right. You guys just heard that. He just said, oh, okay, thank you. Don't have any more 20 in my hand, but you know, that the Mercedes dealership just gave me that part for free, and I'm not even homeless. I'm driving a fucking Lexus to go get a Mercedes part, so. I hope that dude has a good day, you know? He can go eat steak and shake too. He can do whatever he wants today. I don't even care. I mean, I do care. I hope he has a freaking good ass day. My day's been pretty good. No reason why his day shouldn't be good. Off to home. Oh, my freaking good is. Steak and shake freaking begs hard. Okay, so from what I can understand, the fuel filter was on correct. But so I was looking back here to check everything out and this looks like going to the fuel tank like this looks like it goes up <sighs> yeah you can't see junk it looks like it's going up and then this looks like it's going to a hard line after the fuel filter and going to the engine but so that makes no sense to me because when i asked the dude at mercedes i was like does it go to the filter and then the pump and he was like yeah but that makes no sense because if it does the arrow was pointed that way so that would mean this goes to the fuel uh the fuel tank but this looks like it goes to the fuel tank i was like looking around up here and on right here there was this this is a giant ass like hornet's nest. I've decided that I'm putting the fuel filter on the opposite direction that it was because like I said, this looks like it's coming from the tank. It's a big line. Then this goes to the fuel pump. There's no reason there would be a fuel filter before a pump when it's exterior to the car. So 
This looks like it feeds directly from the tank and then it goes to the pump, to the filter, and then to this line, which then goes to a hard line. There's no reason why a soft line would go to the engine when there's a hard line small right here. This looks like, oh, you can't really see. This is the, the line that goes to the filter. So when I took the line off the fuel pump, water, or fuel, fuel wasn't coming out of this line line fuel was coming out of this line because it was it was from gravity from the tank so this looks like it's a loop going like that not like that there's no reason why this big this big line would be going to the engine so i'm just gonna do what i think is right because it's my car so whatever it's still dripping fuel from there it's not dripping fuel from here arrows going that way i don't give a give a give Okay, so I don't know if that was recording, but that thing's back in. Oh, I really hope that was recording. Okay, so, I mean, that's back in. It's not leaking, probably because it has no fuel in it. Direction has been changed. This fuel filter, the one that I took off that was genuine Mercedes, was pointed going that way. I changed it to go that way. I just do not believe that this, li this line comes from the tank. It has to. Like it goes up into the tank. This line goes up. And then forward up. And looks like it's it's going that way. Like it goes up. It's up there. And then I lose track of it. But so, you know, I'm just gonna put fuel in this thing, crank it on can't run any worse than it did. That original fuel filter was so clogged. I genuinely think it was on backwards somehow, even though it said Mercedes. This wasn't the same age as the original fuel filter. So someone puts in a new fuel pump and then they're like, oh, we're just gonna put it on backwards or something, which I don't know why they would take a used fuel filter off and then put it on back on going the wrong way. Let's put gas in and see what happens. All right, just put whatever was left of this tank in the car. I'm gonna go to the store and get whatever, two gallons more. Oh man, so I just opened up the fuel tank after I put that little bit of fuel in. Coming back from the gas station, I got more gas. When I opened the fuel cap, it was just lots of pressure in there. So not sure if this is gonna fix the whole problem. Man, these fuel, these gas cans with the safety protection or whatever suck so bad. I'm so tired of them. All right, so here we go. First start since putting in the new uh, fuel filter. I'm gonna give it another go. Car is leaking uh, gas now. Oh man. So now the car is leaking from up here. Focus a little bit. It's leaking from up here. 
Now uh, you can see all the liquid. All right, so it started raining. You can't really tell. It was raining light. I was trying to take that hose clamp off and I couldn't get it off. But so I just parked a car in the garage. It doesn't seem to be leaking right now. I'm gonna take the car for a drive, like a short little drive. And then I'm gonna see if it's leaking because I might be fixing nothing at this point. Wow, it seems way more peppy actually. I got some uh, Milwaukee thingamajangers. Dude on FCP Euro or something or another told me that I could get off the Mercedes clamp that's just like a clap. Or I don't even know how to say it. I hate the, the clamps that just clamp over themselves. I think this line is just like too worn out or something. Like I just moved the car and it's not leaking. And if I was really just a maniac, I would just put an, another clamp right here and another clamp right here which is honestly what I'm probably gonna do put a clamp lol right here and I'm put another clamp on this side and I'm gonna call it a friggin day <laughs> all right yeah so this is totally how Mercedes tells you to do it just like flim flam a bunch of clamps on if you can't get one off put two on that's what they teach you in uh whatever the heck Mercedes school or whatever. Yeah, but like all the bushings and everything, they're all solid. That's pretty cool. Except for the diff. That thing like freaking clangs a whole bunch. Like look at all the, I should probably put some, uh, some diff fluid in there. Are you guys sideways? Yeah, you guys are probably sideways as fuck right now. I'm gonna, all right, but this thing shouldn't leak. You know, when I start the car up, I'm gonna check and make sure it's actually in focus. But yeah, I'm gonna check and make sure it's not leaking. It's definitely not leaking anywhere around here anymore. I'm afraid, no, I'm not afraid actually. This line isn't gonna leak. It's hard as a rock though, but it's, it ain't gonna leak. It's cool. All right, so this is sort of a before. I'm not sure how I'm gonna record this without getting my phone totally soaked, but I'm gonna try and uh, clean up a little bit of this. Pull out some of the cobwebs and stuff. That's the diff before. All right, can't really tell, but it's a little cleaner. It's 
springs look new for some reason. I think the suspension's relatively new compared to the car. Also barely got it up on the front right here. Use those little bricks to get it up. Can't really tell as well, but it's cleaner under there as well. Seems to be dripping oil or something. Can't really tell where. I'll figure it out eventually, probably from the oil pan or the valve cover gasket. Probably the valve cover gasket. Yeah, probably the valve cover gasket. I also want to take this thing out today and inspect it because this has to do with the EVAP system. And if it isn't working, then the tank's getting overpressurized and that's probably causing a major problem. I also got another hornet nest out of the car. Man, I hate these things. But so, how long has it been parked? Long enough for a hornet's nest and a mud dauber colony to grow inside of it. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that. This goes to, follow this line. This goes to the frim frammer, but this goes to the, uh, the uh, charcoal canister and to the it's the vent for the tank in the back this is actually a line to the tank sort of follow this line it goes like this goes i think actually to the charcoal canister and believe it or not online people said the charcoal canister is in the trunk i tore apart the whole trunk it's not in there it's behind right here I'm fairly certain and yeah worst case scenario if this thing works like I can get it to click I'm just going to take it off put two alligator clips to it and then see if it clicks if it works then it works but yeah I don't think it works so I think first thing I'm gonna do is uh mark all these I'm gonna like take a picture of it or video and I'm gonna mark like one two three four five with like a marker and then just pop all of them off and take that cap off and see what's under there if it's corroded that could be part of my problem all right so i'm certain a real magician would just like somehow know that this is uh how it's supposed to go but i ain't a real magician so i'm just gonna mark these and then i'm gonna put them back the same way they were because that's how it is all right that's about as scientific as it's gonna get right there Looks to be three torques. I think I need a new tool. This isn't gonna work. I'll be right back. All right, so I moved the car into the shade. Working in the sun is just not for me. I also got uh new thingamajanger. Size, size kind of dirty something or another main problem i'm having is it seems that bolt down there is stripped not sure who could have done that if i had to guess i'd say this could be why the car isn't running that good you know i don't think they're supposed to be brown and green i mean i was never an auto mechanic but probably not also supposed to have like dust and dust and stuff in there i think cleaning that up might help all right so for my 
my memory, this is the top. Someone cracked it up here, that wasn't me. This is the bottom because it's the bolt that's stripped. When I put this back in, I'm gonna put this bolt on top and this bolt on bottom so it's not stripped, but I might as well take out the other one and clean it at the same time because if this one wasn't really dirty, I wasn't gonna take out the other one, but this one is, is really dirty, so I'm gonna take out the other one. All right, so for my memory, this one's going to be Hopefully I can get this one off without taking this off because, man, the bolt for taking off the, one of the covers is right there. So there's one, two, and then like one on the bottom. Please don't be stripped. This is gonna be fine. Okay, so I'm just not a big fan of these Husky sockets that have like the auto uh, stripper. Like these are already sort of stripped. Someone's clearly been in there before. You could see the rotor on the other side was cracked. I'm not gonna replace it just yet. I'm gonna clean it. But so like, like someone's already been in here before. I just I just like the the hex sockets that are not like this. I like them to be hex all the way down to the end. Like this hex, for instance. This is just for like a bike. I tried to use it on it. It doesn't work. I went to the store, bought those. Those are junk. I'm about to go to the store again and get new ones. If this was not on this big doohickey, it would work good. I just need, yeah, I'm going to return those hexes and get flat hex. Whoever thought this was a good idea, frig you. But so, yeah, I'm gonna take this rotor off right now. Yeah, this is clearly like old. If only my camera would focus, it's dirty. I'm gonna be cleaning this. All right, so this is how the professionals do it. They just stack miscellaneous things and then make the table and reuse the uh, crack caps. But if you haven't seen a professional do it this way, you haven't been around enough professionals, I guess. So this is the dirty corroded one. That's about as good of a view as you're gonna get. And this is about as clean as I can get it. It is pretty worn. I've never seen a, a rotor. Actually, I've never seen a rotor before, LOL. But yeah, that's pretty clean.
All right, so I'm gonna be taking off the cap, cause, I mean the rotor, cause why not? Looks like it's held on by three things. And by things, I mean like whatever this thing is, I guess. Looks to be a doohickey. I guess I'll just clean this edge a little bit. All right, so the edge is now clean and I cleaned in there. Yep, I almost forgot. I torqued it down to about... <clears throat> Could be making the car not run great. I don't know. This one looks way more worn down than the other one though. I'm gonna put it right back on after cleaning it up. All right, so this one is cleaned as well. I think the car's gonna run better. It's torqued. All right, so for this one, I changed this bolt to right here because this is the more stripped one. So it'll be, it'll be at the top. So if it ever is unable to be got out, it'll be easier for the next person. All right, so a couple things. I readjusted, all right, first off, I had the battery unhooked after I started doing this, because I was like, if this is gonna be reset, the whole computer's gonna get reset. I'm gonna relearn everything or have the car relearn everything for itself. But so I put a zip tie on right here, because this thing keeps coming off. Maybe it will make it work better. Maybe it needs actual vacuum to work correctly, who knows? But so now it's 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 on there, it's not gonna come off. Again, this line goes to this. This thing goes to the charcoal canister, charcoal canister goes to the gas tank. I think there was a problem with that system. I readjusted this throttle linkage so it's looser now, because I think that's how it's supposed to be. In the instructions it said, Bowden cable, something or another, this spring is supposed to be loose, resting with no tension. So right now, I don't know if you can tell, it's resting with no tension, but it's right on point. Where am I getting this information from, you might say? Well, I have this big stack of stuff that I've been collecting, and this is my engine, vehicles, automatic transmission. So 
something or another. Bring this one. All right, so vehicles, automatic transmission and acceleration skid control, that's me. I think this year, 95 is the first year with ASR. This is the engine, yeah, it looks cool, yeah. It says, so I can adjust the school, plastic free of tension, nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go through the rest of this. You can look at it, this is what I have. It's six pages, I found it on some Mercedes-Benz forum. Thank you to whoever posted it, you're a legend. I'll be back with you. All right, so I'm gonna try and run through the idle learning procedure and everything. All I'm gonna do is start the car up, let this thing do its clicking for a little bit, and then I'm gonna hold the throttle to the, pedal to the uh, to kick down thing, but I'm not gonna kick it down. I'm just gonna hold it at full throttle so it learns what full throttle is. It should be learning right now. I may fast forward this just so you don't have to sit through it, but I think it's at least a minute that it needs to do this before it, it knows what's up. See, it's learning. I don't know if you saw that. It did a, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go inside and like hold it down to full throttle for a little bit. All right, I'm not sure what that looked like or what's up, but that was definitely 60 seconds for learning full throttle. This thing should be totally learned. I guess I'm gonna start the thing. All right, I haven't even taken the key out since relearning everything. Focus a little bit. Poopers. That's not good. Well, there's actually no lights. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna shut the hood and then take this thing for a drive. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, it's still just not running right. I'm not sure if I did the idle or incorrect. It's just, I don't know, but it just doesn't, doesn't have all its power. So this is going to conclude this video. Uh, I'm kind of miffed that it's not running totally perfect. I'm going to try scanning the codes, but that's going to be another video. I'm at a loss right now. Uh, totally thought it was just going to totally rip, but it didn't. When I took the gas cap off when I got home, uh, a lot of pressure came out. Even still, there's pressure. Built up pressure pretty quick. I don't understand why. I'm gonna have to get a fuel pressure gauge thingamajig from AutoZone or something or another and check to see if it's getting adequate, adequate uh, fuel pressure. Maybe I didn't relearn the throttle body totally correct, but yeah, it's just not, not doing it, so. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.